Okay, hi. Okay, this is just going to be um, a brief video for you to release um, your hips. Please don't go into any pain. Um, listen to your body, take your time with it. The more times that you do this, the, um, the more benefit you will get from it. So, um, yeah, and always use your breath to go deeper rather than trying to force yourself to go deeper. Okay, come into lying on your back. You can lie flat on your back. Or you can have the soles of your feet to the ground, knees to the sky. Just let your full arms fall out wide so your shoulders are comfortable and then close your eyes for a moment. And we're just going to use the breath to bring about a sense of focus. So begin with an exhale, just emptying your lungs. And then inhale nice and deep through your nose, filling up through your belly, through your ribs, into your chest and your upper back. And then exhale through the mouth again and keep exhaling. Try to get all of that air out of your lungs. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale deep. And exhale to release. Lovely last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. And then from there, just bring the knees in towards the dress. Hold on to your knees with your hands and start to make circles in opposite directions. So one knee going clockwise and the other one going anti-clockwise. And just allow the weight of your legs to be in your hands so it feels like your arms are doing the work here. And then change the direction when you're ready and have a play around the other way around. Remember that in your kind of yoga practice, you want to be remaining neutral to what you feel so that we're not causing any more tension and friction in the body. So try not to judge anything that arises, but stay present. Lovely. And then when you're ready, take the forearms around the shin bones. You can interlace your fingers in the center if that's comfortable or just let the knees be wide so they're aiming past your ribcage towards your armpits. And then we're just going to take an inhale breath. Now as you exhale, hug your knees a little deeper and roll your tailbone away from you towards the top of your mat. I'm going to do that two more times. Inhale, back off. And then exhale, hug nice and deep. Inhale, back off. Exhale, hug it nice and deep. This time, remain in that pull and just roll tailbone away from you and tuck your chin in slightly and press the back of your head down. Feel that lengthening come through your spine. Take one more full breath in here and a full breath out. Good, now release your left leg long and you're gonna start to make circles with your, your right knee. So nice big circles, you can hold your knee with your hands if you need support or you can um, just let the knee circle by itself but you're driving through the ball of your foot through your heel and again play around with direction so you feel the circles the other way around lovely and then we're going to bring this into a twist so hold on with your left hand bring your right palm out wide take an inhale breath and then as you exhale take the knee over to the left Try to keep your right shoulder down on the ground so that the twist climbs up through your spine. And take an inhale breath and then an exhale just to allow everything to soften into the shape. Lovely. When you're ready, come back through center. Cross your right ankle over the edge of your left thigh. If you need to, keep your left foot on the ground and you can just sway your knees from side to side here. If you can lift your left foot off the ground and go a bit deeper into your hips, you can start to make circles through your knees. If you feel any tension in your knee, flex your right toes towards your kneecap. If you're in the circles, just start to feel that massage through the glutes. And you can take a, a pause, any position that you need, and you can also play around with the direction as well. We'll just do this for a few more breaths. And when you're ready, take a pause wherever it's comfortable, either left foot on the ground or knees closer in towards the chest and take two deep breaths into that right hip opening. 
you might like to exhale through the mouth to help you soften and release. Lovely. When you're ready, release your left leg. We're going to do that on the other side. Release your right leg long. Shake it out if you need to. Reset. Then when you're ready, bring your left knee in and start to make those circles through your knee. Again, either supporting with your hands or allowing the drive to be through the heel and the ball of the foot. Good. And then when you're ready, change direction. Feel it the other way around. Again, remain in that neutral space of your awareness, just allowing things to be as they are. Good. We'll bring the left knee in and we'll hold on for the twist with the right hand. Left palm out to the side, take an inhale breath. Exhale, take the twist over to the right. Keep the left shoulder softening towards the ground. Let the twist climb up through the spine and just feed a breath through the rib cage here. Exhale to soften everything. One more. Lovely. Come back through center. Cross the left ankle over the edge of the right thigh. If you want, keep the right foot on the ground and just sway the knees from side to side. Or if you're going deeper, right foot lifts off and you can start to make those circles through the hips, through the knees. Feel that massaging quality into your glutes. Pay attention to anywhere that's cooling a little louder. Play around with direction again. And then we'll take a pause just to breathe into the depth. So pl please be in a comfortable position, no strain on the hip. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, release that through your mouth. One more like that, inhale deep. Exhale long. Release the right foot to the ground, remove the left. And then stretch it, stretch it out. Take a full body stretch. Inhale the arms over the head. Point through the toes. Squeeze through the muscles, the arms and the legs. Give it a wriggle and then give it a deep breath in. And exhale. And then when you're ready, bring both knees in towards the chest and just start to gently rock up and down through your spine. If this is uncomfortable on your back, then please omit this. If it's comfortable, just take your time to really round your spine so that you kind of don't have any um, gaps, especially through the lower back as you're rolling up and down the mat. And then when you're ready, you're just going to rock all the way up and we're going to come into an all fours position. So coming onto your hands and your knees, take your knees nice and wide and have your hands a bit further forward over your shoulders. And then start to just circle through your hips. So you can again make the circles um, as big or as small as you feel useful. But it's just um, allow the movement to bring about a sense of softening. So if you're moving too big too soon and that creates tension, that, that's generally not as useful as listening and just maybe taking things a little bit steadier. And play around with the direction again. Keep repeating that, but yeah, keep moving all the way around. If you're feeling comfortable through the front of your pelvis, you can pour it down towards the mat and maybe flirt with a back bend. But please don't feel like you need to copy what I'm doing, but rather maybe just tune in and tune in to what feels right in your body. We don't have to look the same. Okay, and then when you're ready, just take a moment and sink the hips back towards the heels and come into a child's pose. Okay, from here, I'm going to take you through some spinal waves. So as you inhale, pull your belly in and round your spine all the way forward. Now as you exhale, lift your tailbone, let your elbows bend, let your belly drop and lift your hips as you press them all the way back towards the heels. So you're feeling that through a back bend. And we're going to do, keep moving like this. Inhale, round forward, pull the belly towards the spine. Press the shoulder blades and the back of the heart up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, reverse it. Lift the tailbone, let the belly soften. Elbows bend as you push the hips back. Good. Inhale, round forward. Exhale, 
and exhale, melt it back. Lovely, two more like this. Inhale, round forward. And exhale, melt it back. Good, inhale, round forward. And exhale, melt it back. Lovely. From here, inhale, round all the way forward. Exhale, tuck your toes, press your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Press the hands forward and the heart back and just give your heels some movement. Give it a wiggle through your hips. Okay, we're gonna come into a lunge. So inhale, float your right toes. Exhale, step it forward outside of your right hand. You can let your toes turn out, but you're gonna sink your back knee down. And then from there, again, let the right, left knee be nice and wide on your mat and you're gonna to start to circle your hips again. And you can see how I'm lifting my right toes so I get the movement of my hips going further back. This is also gonna open up through the hamstrings as well. You're probably feeling that already. Again, just be nice and gentle and keep feeding the breath into what you're feeling. Good, okay, and then we'll take a pause. Landing your right foot down, be on your fingertips here. You can pick the back knee up off the ground if you want to or keep it down. Take an inhale, lift up through your chest. Pull your belly in to support your spine. And then as you exhale, bend your elbows. You can micro bend them or maybe you can land your forearms down. But we're gonna inhale, lift up onto your fingertips, lift the chest. And then exhale, pull the heart down. And you just keep moving like that. Don't worry about how deep you're going. Just keep this sense of lifting and lowering. Inhale to rise and exhale to lower. Good, keep pushing through that front heel. One more, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Lovely. Push into your hands, sweep this right foot. Bring the right knee behind the left knee. Walk the hips all the way back. Pull your belly on towards your thighs. Relax through your head and your shoulders. Just take a moment to soften there and breathe. Lovely, inhale, come forward, hands and knees. Take the knees nice and wide again. Let's inhale, lift the tailbone, find your cow shape, press the hips back towards the heels. And then inhale, round all the way forward. Spinal waves again. Let's just do two more of these, exhaling, moving the heart back. Good, inhaling, rounding forward, push the heart up towards the sky. Exhale, send it all the way back. Good, inhale, round all the way forward. Exhale, melt your heart back. Good, okay, pedal out through your heels for a moment. Push your hands forward, melt your heart back. Take a breath in. Float your left toes when you're ready. Exhale, step the left foot outside of the hand. Help it forward if it doesn't come all the way. You can let your toes spin out here. Take your back knee down and nice and wide on your mat and then give yourself some movement through your pelvis. Again, you don't have to have really big circles here. You can have smaller circles, but allow this left foot to be moving with you so you access into the back of the leg without stra straining anything. Good. Play around with direction. Lovely, and then from here we're gonna come forward into the left foot. Be up on your fingertips, inhale, lift your chest, let your pelvis move heavy. Exhale, soften through the elbows, bend them down, maybe you'll add your forearms down, maybe not. We're gonna inhale, keep moving. Push down into that left heel as you exhale, lower. Good, two more with breath, inhale, lift. Keep engaging through that left foot, exhale, lower the heart. Lovely, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Good, inhale, lift. This time, shift the weight into your left foot, pick up your back knee, you're gonna step your right foot forward, turn the toes out, have them nice and wide through your feet and drop into a squat. 
And if you need support underneath your heels, you can take them, but it's a good idea that the heels are pressing down into them. So maybe you use a block underneath each heel, maybe you roll up your mat, um, maybe you improvise with something, I don't know. But we're gonna take a moment just in the squat, moving around, let the hips adjust into it. And then when you're ready, take your upper, upper arms on the inside of your knees and press your palms together so your thumbs move towards your heart center. And then take a lift up through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, just sink down through your tailbone. Good, take two more breaths here. Feel that elongation through your spine. Keep pushing the knees wide, thumbs towards the heart. Lovely, and then when you're ready, you can sit your hips down. Take your feet out in front of you. Have the soles of your feet facing one another. They don't have to touch, but let the knees go out wide and the knees be heavy. And then take an inhale breath. Lift up through your chest, draw your shoulders back, and as you exhale, pull your heart towards your toes. Keep your chin lifted. Now as you inhale, look towards your navel, round your spine and lift it back up. So we're coming back to spinal waves in this seated position. So you inhale, lift your chest, let your heart lead you forward. And then as you exhale, pull the belly in and round all the way back up. Lovely, a couple more like this. Trying to synchronize this wave through the spine with breath. Lovely, and then when you're ready, we're gonna take a moment just breathing into the hips. So inhaling, lifting, exhaling, walking the heart forward, walking the hands down, and taking a pause in a position that feels comfortable. So a position that you feel you can sustain. And then wherever you meet that resistance, take a breath into it. Allow your shoulders to soften. Allow your head to release if you feel comfortable through the neck, through the lower back. If there's any pain happening, just back off slightly, listen to your body. Take one more breath here. And then slowly come back up. Good. We'll take one more final stretch. We're gonna split the legs nice and wide. Root down through the heels so that you um, are kind of firm on your sit bones and again if you need to you can prop a block underneath your sit bones so you've got some more height for your lower back. Okay so we're going to sway the torso through the centre so that don't worry about how low you're going so you take a turn towards the right side and then dip the heart through the middle and lift up through the left and then we reverse that core towards the left take it through the centre and lift up through the right and you're just going to keep doing that to kind of release into your lower back a bit further. Again, if your lower back is pulling, just don't dip as low with the heart. Keep the heels rooting down and the toes pointing up towards the sky. So you've got lots of activation going on um, through your legs, through your feet. Good. And then if you're kind of feeling good, you can just take a moment and pull your heart into the center. Maybe the hands come forward. Maybe the hands are behind the back and you're here. Yeah, and you're just lifting your heart space, breathing into your inner thighs. Maybe your hands can come forward. Maybe your forearms can come down. Again, be comfortable with where you are and then allow the breath to take you deeper. So again, not forcing anything. Don't create tension through the force, but just allow yourself to be in a neutral space of just softening into what you're feeling. We'll take another three breaths here. Lovely, last one. Good, and then walk yourself all the way back. Bring your legs together shake them out for a moment and then just take a moment to come onto your back again and lie in that comfortable position. I'm going to have my feet on the ground, my knees to the sky and then let my knees fall against one another. And then this way the weight of the pelvis can just drop, the lower back can release and we just take a moment to allow the body to receive 
all of that information. Take a note of how you're feeling in your body now. Recognize if you need a cleansing breath in through your nose and exhale through the mouth just to release any energy that you've stirred up through those positions with the body. melting in your stillness. And if you're needing to go or ready to move, then just tug the knees in towards the chest, give yourself a squeeze again. Feel into those new hips. And then gently bring yourself all the way back. I'd like to take a moment just to pause and feel and take note of how your energy is. How you feel in your body now. Mm, thank you so much for taking the time for yourself to practice, to feel good. What you do for yourself, you do for others as well. Mm, namaste.